Let's talk <laughs> about AI. Let's talk. Well, um, okay. So, who will be the four most dominant companies in the AI space? And we got to have Keys on here sometime, too, to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, I thought he was going to be here today. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. We should have had him I'm on today. today. Yeah, um, brother. But, all right. We didn't know he was going to be here. <laughs> yeah. Listen, shut up to meet and greet and say he know who's going to be there. That is a fact. Ah, toy. That is a fact. <laughs> All on the poster. So AI, AI, let's talk about four most dominant companies in the AI space. Um, of course, Apple, Microsoft, Google will probably be the third, three biggest players. The fourth, I don't think we've seen created yet. I think we have. Ooh, which one? I think we have, and we just kind of overlook it. Tell me more. Amazon. Tell me more. All right. So let's think about AI, right? Inside their homes, you got Mm -hmm. Alexa. Okay. Let's think about the stores, cashless stores. Right? Let's think about about e-commerce. How do they know what we want? They're using AI. How do they know what to recommend for us? Right? Let's think from logistics. Yeah. Are they doing drone deliveries? Mm Mm-hmm. They're here. Right, they're already here. Yeah, yeah. The fact that they are, they're they're already doing all these things and we're not even yeah. mentioning them, plus they have That's the capital the and the infrastructure. It's like, wait, why are we not talking about them in the AI race? Yeah, I think even before Google, I I would say, I would say, Nvidia, for sure. Mm-hmm. I would put in the other semi, uh, AMD, just from what they're creating. Now AMD is 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 behind what Nvidia is doing right now. Yeah, but I, I like AMD. I think it's Apple. I think it's Microsoft. As a four, but I think Amazon. I think we need to make it five. That's interesting. I do, and then I got a sleeper. I'll let I'll let y'all give you other ones, then I'll give you a sleeper. I think as well. Um, I think Tesla is one of the most important. Yeah, because transportation is is what everybody's really waiting for. Uh, yeah. So, um, I just saw Alex get energy. Shout out to him. He was in a, a convention. Yeah, for truckers, that. and they have the um the battery that can charge the 18 wheeler in uh 80% in 15 minutes. Yeah, that's incredible. Um so they're already working on autonomous driving 18 wheelers. Mm-hmm. Um I feel that within the next 20 years it will really be on the road as far as cars that's driving themselves. Yeah. The technology's already there but it's so tough politically. Yeah. But yeah. um it's only a matter of time. And even without cars driving themselves there's still AI in in they involved, yeah. But the efficiency of transportation has to evolve, yeah. especially on planes. Um, everything you think of drones, all so I feel like transportation, artificial intelligence is really going to change change that landscape. And Tesla is taking the lead in that, and probably will be the leader mm-hmm. from a transportation standpoint, not just from a cars. I think from uh, eight. 18 wheeler transportation standpoint they're already working on trains um and i see a tesla plane happening that would be yeah. incredible I wow can see a tesla plane so those, those are the, i mean even that company so tesla makes the product yeah and that's what we talked about this last night let's find the companies that are helping making sure that product runs efficiently mm-hmm. and so if we know if it's autonomous driving they're going to need semis that do us alternative what are yeah. the companies that are doing that so I think that that's a that's a great point. Transportation for sure, but like that's an opportunity. Yeah. Find the companies that are helping making sure that the charging stations are efficient, making sure that the batteries are efficient, making sure that the AI inside, the LED screen, like all these things yeah. have companies that are behind them. And if you want to know a resource that you, that you can use, you can go to either A16Z, out to the family, or Y Combinator to see like which AI companies are going to like be leaders in the next two or three years that could get acquired by Apple, Microsoft, yeah. Amazon, Tesla. Um, even with Sam at, at Open Labs, um, it's interesting. Well, homework assignment. What institution or company was Sam Altman a part of before Chad GPT became to the forefront? He was very smart to like look at everyone's ideas, provide funding, and then put the best of those ideas mm-hmm. together and, like into one or two products. And with Chad GPT, I was talking to Keys like, Remember when I was talking about um, the integration with crypto and mm-hmm. Web3 and how it all got to come together? Yeah. So um, the chat GPT thing, a few a few companies will benefit from it and we'll see full integration. Imagine when chat GPT is part of your notes Yeah. on your iPhone, yeah. right? So when you write in your notes, you just start the sentence and then based off of how you're actually writing, then it can I'm finish it history. for you. Yeah. Like, or when it's fully integrated with Microsoft Word. Yeah. Um. 
That plugin is not for Instacart, uh, a couple other retailers. Mm -hmm. So imagine when they have like a full app store. No, for sure. Yeah. So um, those companies will definitely benefit from it for sure. And yeah, like chat GBT is still in its infancy stages and it's, it's still not like when the app is fully developed mm -hmm. on your phone. And it's, you know, on the iPhone homepage. Yeah. And you just go to it and it's like fully integrated with your iPhone notes. Yeah. And you can literally write a book in 10 minutes on your iPhone notes. Mm -hmm. That changes everything. Yeah. So I feel like, um, yeah, for sure. The companies that already have the infrastructure in place, Apple, Microsoft, they're going to definitely benefit from yeah. it. Yeah. And then all of the other ancillary companies, for sure. Dude, there's another one. And I, I, I'll be interested to hey, hear your sleeper? Hold on. You, you, cause you, I, I, Amazon, I, I, it's crazy. I ended with the word I was going to start with, but you said infrastructure, and I'm talking large-scale enterprise. What do you think about IBM? Now, this is a company, this is a yeah. legacy brand, right? Yeah. But when we talk about software, when we talk about hardware, when we talk about services at large scale. Yeah. They've been here doing it. In fact, we we overlook it, right? But Watson was one of those first yeah, AI yeah, things yeah. that we, there was just way we, too we marvel that, and it was yeah. it was way too early. We saw it on Jeopardy, and it, it kind of crashed out. But that what we we were seeing it happen in real time, right? And they sold off Watson, but like IBM is one of those companies. When I think about large scale and from an enterprise, because corporate still uses them, yeah, they might have an opportunity as well as a sleeper in the space. You need new leadership. That's the only thing. Like you need a regime change. Like, uh, not trying to like offend anybody. There's a ceiling on games you can win. Like, let's say if like Stan Van Gundy's your coach. Shout out to Stan and Jeff. I love you guys so much. These <laughs> are just my thoughts, not Trevor shot. So if they end up, you know, interviewing you, these were my comments. I love you, brother. <laughs> um, but I think with the CEO that they've had, I think IBM's gotten really comfortable. And they haven't pushed for it. I think they got comfortable off the, the wins and the victories in the 80s and 90s. And then everyone came to take their lunch in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. um, infrastructure is there for sure. I just think you need new leadership to be able to pull that off. A sleeper giant. Could be. Could be. That's why well, I call it a sleeper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Um, and yeah, we'll have a more in-depth AI conversation. We'll get keys on here like one of these weeks. Yeah. And Something a hologram like with Stan Van Gundy too. For sure, <laughs> for sure. Uh, how do you think it affect the NBA and the NFL? The what? The AI. How, how will it affect it? That would be crazy. Like, if coaches started using AI to, like, run data on players. Because even uh, my dad was telling me when he was doing the tour with the Raptors, with you guys, like, they were saying that if the shots were off or yeah. with the yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah. high enough. So yeah, imagine yeah. if you can, pro like, make custom plans for that's players. A, that's a bad them. shot. Here's why. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, everybody, once we start – once we start talking about AI, nobody has anybody heard of virtual reality anymore? Nobody's even talking about virtual reality. Yeah. Or NFTs. Yeah. yeah. Or augmented reality. Yeah. But I always felt that virtual reality, augmented reality is the future of sports from a viewing standpoint. Yeah. It's like if you can be front row to watch LeBron and you feel like you're actually front row, like that's game changing. Yeah. You can sell that that ticket. A million times, yeah, for the same seat, absolutely. But we and we talked to some guys, when we, you know, we were with the NFLPA, not just from a a game standpoint or a fan standpoint, but from an athlete, athlete standpoint. Yeah, <clears throat> imagine if I didn't have to get hit in practice and I could go through practice virtually, <laughs> right? Like that's a game. These pleasure. are the type of things like I could actually have game feel, game film in my headset. Yeah. Now do I have to spend three hours at the facility? Yeah. Right. It it, it changes things. It makes things more efficient. But sports, it, like you said, like virtual reality is one of those spaces was like, yeah, yeah, this makes a lot of sense. And there's a lot of money to be yeah. made. If I could sell the same seat at courtside at the Knicks game mm -hmm. to 10,000 people. Yeah. Think about that. That's better than selling it once. Absolutely. But that's the thing. It's like, because like, remember the metaverse? I so know. it's like, Wait, it's still I don't even you. <laughs> but I'm just saying like, people, by <laughs> people, <laughs> people have short attention spans. They focus yeah. on one thing at a time. Yeah. It's like, Oh, Dogecoin is the future. It, I said it wasn't. Yeah. Then it's like, oh, the metaverse. Then it's like, oh, NFTs. Now it's like, oh, chat GBT. Mm -hmm. So, at, but at one point, a lot of this stuff is going to start to merge together. Yeah, it's because there's still like there's still people in the metaverse. Yeah, it's just nobody it, nobody cares. It. Nobody talks about it anymore. <laughs> but at some point, that's going to have some viability to it. Yeah. At some point, you know what I mean? Like 
augmented reality, virtual reality, they're going to get it right. Yeah. Like, and at some point, AI is going to be, you know, take over the whole situation. But it's like, these things have six months. Yeah. In talking points. It's like yeah. six months until something new comes out. thing comes out. Our yeah. kids are still in the metaverse, right? If they're paying Roblox, not much difference. Yeah. Apple, they, once they get that cost down for the headset. But look, a lot of people brought land in the metaverse, real estate, $50,000 and all that. Mistake. That was stupid. completely stupid. Yes. Because that's worth nothing. <laughs> they paid $50,000 for a house in the metaverse. To live next to Snoop. But just think about that rationally. <laughs> Why would you pay $50,000 for a house in the metaverse? Ladies, if men will do that, get in their DMs and promise them the world and get yeah, $200,000. There, there was, there was, some people were rationalizing it, right? Like some people made it rational. And it was like, oh, okay. From a standpoint where it was like, oh, I can have people. We can do events inside here. They can have all types of incentives inside of it. I was like, okay. But, yeah, if I don't own physical, it's going to be tough for me to do it. Yeah. But even virtual. if you, like I said, FOMO, fear of missing out. out. Yes. People do things. For, you can rationalize anything. Yes. That's the, that's the, scary, <clears throat> that's the scary part about life. Mm -hmm. You can make an excuse for whatever you want to. Anything. Yeah. What does it mean? Like. <laughs> you could you could you could rationalize anything. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's rational. Yeah. That's true. So it's a bar. When yes, that is trademark. It's a bar. <laughs> so um just be careful with these with these new investments, these new things that cause, like I said. Take your time. And let's be honest, it's the VC firms that, that are pushing the propaganda behind it. NFTs didn't work, let's move to metaverse. I told you I wasn't gonna work. Shout to Meta. Hi Marn. Hi John Ren. Thank you. I haven't got a cease and desist yet. Which means I'm right. Thank you. I'll be there in two weeks. Um, <laughs> NFTs, dead in the water. Uh, AI is going to stay around. Uh, stop me when I'm lying. Spiritu Santo. I, even, I look back and got a live audience. What's, hey, what's up? What's going on, fellas? Right. So, and, and also, I, and, and for culturally, like, if you go to, like, your aunt, your grandma, your friend, and be like, hey, like, if I came to you and said, man, I'm going to send you a, a virtual house for two fifty. <laughs> You like, what are you doing? Send it over. Hey, <laughs> if you gonna fall for that, listen, I can sell you the seat to be the next president of the United States. Don't get caught up in the next thing. Just buy the biggest companies. Like follow what the five biggest governments, five biggest hedge funds are doing. Like if BlackRock is not putting any money into virtual land or metaverse or digital only fans, girls. You shouldn't either. Digital only. Digital only. <laughs> Leave it all. She doesn't love you like that, bro. <laughs> Let it go. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>